Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. This is Switch with Christy. And we are going to pick up where we left off. We're still here at the Temple of Time. We're gonna jump on out here and I'm gonna go over this way. Because we now have our bombs and there was that bomb of a wall we saw, remember? So we'll go ahead and drop one of those here. We'll get this out of the way. I believe it's just a gem, but still, they will come in handy. Opal. Alright. Let's see, from there, the next thing I want to do is... There's a few things I want to clean up. If we go up to this shrine... I'm trying to remember. I believe this is the best way to go for this. Cutting grass. Wildlife taking shelter in the grass will jump out at you when you cut down the surroundings. Alright. Now... Yeah, there they are. Okay. First... I don't think... I don't think there's anything up here, is there? No. Need to look at the map real quick. We got... I already got the one, right? The music's different at night. I like that, too. Yeah, there's nothing up here, right? I couldn't remember. If there was a treasure chest or something up this way. No, I don't think so. But there is... This is what we're heading down for. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy. Right here. They're over there partying. Alright. Nope, you didn't see me. Well, I decide the best way to do what I want to do. They should be going to sleep here soon. Yeah, see their bubbles? Means they're going to sleep. But, the problem with the whole situation here is that I'm a goober, and I should have come in from the other direction. because their lookout is going to see us. <laughs> if we do it quick enough, we might be able to get one or two of them before he turns this way, which will be awesome. Nope, didn't work. Oh, we got that one. And guess what? No! We don't want to use a fire arrow. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Come on, turn a little bit. There we go. And we got our treasure chest. I can't believe he heard me sneaking up on him. But it still worked out okay. Alright, we didn't get any arrows from you. No. Alright. We got a twofers, bokoblin horn. Another bokoblin horn. What else do we got over here? 
Cocoa bow, shield, bat. Oop, meat, we'll take it. Seared steak. And we got, get our axe. Grab a few arrows. A few more arrows, some apples. And then, oop, let's not forget our chest. Throwing spear. Is that the same one that we have? A specialized spear weighted to excel as throwing weapon. It's perfectly balanced to be thrown further than your average spear. Able to pierce targets from a great distance. I've never actually used any of the spears for throwing. I've only ever used them like, you know, stabby, stabby, sticky, sticky. All right, traveler spear is what we have. So we're gonna go ahead and drop that and grab this one because it's a little bit more powerful. It's a six. So we'll take that. What are you doing, Link? You start to jump down and then you jump back up. All right. Now, we have this lovely mess. Hi. Should have vaporized the bees. Yep. Grab our stamella shrooms. Climb up and get our coarser bee honey. And get our treasure chest. Bomb arrow times five. We like that. Definitely like that. Okay, from here, what I'd like to do... I'm just making sure we didn't miss any goodies. All right. They're owls, right? Woohoo! Grab the restroom. And up. Grab that mush rush room. Oof. Alright, now from here, I think we're gonna head over. We are gonna utilize fast travel a little bit just to save us some time. I think if we go. That's going to be the fastest way, I think. I think if we go over here... Whoop, we go over to the Shrine of Resurrection. We do have to run out from inside. But it's still going to save us from some time from doing it on foot all the way around. I want to head over to the Forest of Spirits. And to Hopper Pond. Because we have a few Koroks. The Talus. And a few treasure chests to collect. And then... That's not going to be 100%ing the Great Plateau. There are a few that we're going to come back and get later, only because they'll be easier once we have better armor. Um, plus, I also want to have the camera and all for a certain few things over that way, too. So, for this one... Yes, I believe if we jump down here, there it is. We got a bombable wall right here. Go ahead and get that treasure chest. Ooh, I thought I hit open, I just didn't want to. Amber. Very nice. Now... <laughs> the talus is off that way. I don't want to fight him yet because it's nighttime. And I just don't want anybody else trying to join the fight. Because I'm a little rusty. It's been a while since I fought a talus, so I'd rather not. Did I get him? I got him. First shot. Nice. Grab ourselves some meat. Oh, say. And that's what I meant. You gonna run this way, dude? No? You're just gonna leave me some... That's fine. I'll let you shoot at the tree. Ha! 
Hi. Goodbye. I really wanted you to get blown up by the bomb, but that's okay. No, I don't want that. There's eggs up there. We'll go ahead and grab those. The sun's coming up, which means those guys should stop bothering us. We got an egg cord. Oop. What was that, a boar I just spooked? I guess so. Acorn. Go ahead and grab our wood. Now we need to switch it up. Mm, I think this is going to be the best bet. And we need the round bombs. Grab this. And did I just run past? Yes, I did. Grab the acorns, and I see you hiding in here. Blue nightshade, a plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule at night. It gives off a soft glow. Cook it to increase your stealth. Another one of those. I glow, I glow bright so you can see me at night. But somehow I make it so you can sneaky sneaky. Alright, so our talus is out there. I am going to, just to, just in case. <laughs> okay, progress is saved. You would think I should be able to do this no problem, but like I said, it's been a while. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Oh, good. I got him. Stop. There we go. Oh. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad for the first time this playthrough. And give me all your goodies, give me all your goodies. Blue, oh, see that flint. That's the first time we're getting it. Strike it with metallic weapon to generate a spark. This portable fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long-lasting flame if you use it near firewood. All right. That wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be worse since I'm a little rusty and I'm still getting used to my buttons. But one talus down. Anything under here that's not a pickable pick upable rock? If that's even a way of saying it. I'm just making sure we got all our resources that are scattered around here. It looks like we did. And I'm going to switch up. Let's go back to a different weapon. I see a butterfly. And I always crouch when I don't want to. Right in that, right, right in the beginning of that fight. After I threw the bomb and then I wanted to turn and run. I crouched. And then you, when Link crouches, he can't get out of his own way. What is that? Rusty broadsword. Uh, no, it's okay. Alright, from here, I know... We just did the talus, the talus is there. From here, Hopper's Pond. No, I want to know this log. Okay, this log we need to do. And... I think that's the tower pedestal thingy. There's a rock on top of. So let's run, go do those real quick. And collect resources along the way. Can never have too... Oh. Can never have too many mushrooms and all that fun stuffs. And as I'm saying it, I'm not finding any. Huh. What is that? Oh, it's a bird. Okay, we gotta be getting close. To the right. Stop moving. 
And he's down for the count. Grab some more meats. I'm standing in it. There we go. Here's the log I was looking for. Okay. Somewhere in here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. We follow the flower. Following the flowers, the flowers, the flowers. We're following the flowers. Where will they lead? Yeah, ha ha! Yeah. And we got another Korok seed. Okay. Get rid of you. And I do believe I'm trying to go off memory here. This is a Boku camp, I believe. So we're going to head this way for right now. Because there should be... I think it's... Yeah, that pillar there. That weird shaped rock thing. I think at the top of that is a rock that we lift. Oop. There we go. Ha ha ha! You found me! Bye bye! Oh! I love it. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to drop the rock on your head. I think that's the old man's pot. Which is actually an idea, but the fire's not lit. At night, he should come back. What's that? That's a boar? Yeah, it's a boar. Okay. Moving on. Uh, there. Where's my stamp? I want to get rid of the stamp. There it is. It was hiding. If we go over to Hopper Pond, I believe... We got some treasure chests over there, and I think there this is a location. So we'll head this away, a this away. Oop, egg corn, I'll take it, thank you. Oh, it's a couple of boar. They're hanging out together. I thought they were deer. I was going to say, oh, our first deer. Oop, that's a Boku camp. I don't want to mess with them yet, because that's a bigger one. Right? Hmm. It might be doable. Nope. No, 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 you don't see me. You don't see me. No, you don't see me. There's no way you see me. Sneaky, sneaky. Huh. I can't believe he could see me all the way out here. If I go this way... And then, I hide like this, sort of behind the tree. Should block me from his view, and we should be far enough away from the other dude. And then, okay, we got him. Wasn't there another lookout? Did I miss another lookout? Okay, so let's... If we go like this... I am a stealthy fighter when I can be. Because... I am not good... I'm not good at battle. <laughs> so if I can sneak up on them, I try to. That's the same shield. Didn't drop anything else. 
We're gonna go like this. I haven't been able to pull off a sneak attack yet. There we go. Ha! Sneak up on an enemy and unleash a melee attack. We get the sneak tr sneak attack. As long as you have a decent weapon on you, it's usually a one-hit kill. Very cool. That wasn't so bad. Alright. Another Boko camp down. And what do we get? An opal. Very nice. Very nice. We didn't miss anything over here, right? Ooh, arrows. Of course we did. So I didn't look. Alright. So that's that. Now where were we heading? The opposite way. And somehow we ended up here. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. You're going to be heading in one direction. And then get yourself so turned around. We need to head this way. But. We did take out some bokoblins. Practiced our sneaky, sneaky, stealthy. And we did get ourselves an opal. I'm trying to remember... I forget the prices. I know I said don't sell, and for most of them that's correct. Selling a gem here or there along the way is not going to do major damage. Like sometimes you just need you need 30 rupees so you can buy a few supplies or whatever. And the we got another camp. All right, let's see if we can't... Uh, wrong one. Hold on. Ah, you're hitting all the wrong buttons, Chris. That's still good. Why don't we go ahead and use this real quick? No, because they're, they're little bocos. Why am I going to waste the more powerful weapon? Uh, but what we can do, because I forgot we had it... We can put this on. It's attack up. Which means it should increase the attack of whatever thing we're doing. So of our bow. Alright dude, I need you to turn ever so slightly just so I can... There we go. We want to be able to hit you in the head. But at the same token, we don't want you to see us. Alright. Is there anybody else hanging around, standing up? Over on the other side. We got ourselves a scout. So let's go ahead. We should be far enough out that they don't see us. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Mushroom, mushroom. Thank you. Alright. Then we'll start sneaking here. <laughs> is he looking this way at the moment? He is. Yeah, we need him to turn a little bit. If we step out right now, he's going to see us. Are you going to turn a little left? There you go, buddy. There we go. That takes them out of play. Which should leave us open to sneak up on these guys. How many are there? Three? Do they even know where I'm at? Nope. <laughs> they got all angry, got up, and got their weapons, but they have no idea what they're looking for. Oh, I don't like when they do that. We can have some fun with this, though. Is it gonna go that way? <laughs> Hi. I missed. Hi. 
Bye. And maybe it's all gone. I'll take your treasure, thank you. Oh, I love it. Sneaky, sneaky. We take their meats. Thank you very much. We climb up the ladder and grab their treasures. Another opal. Yeah, I think that's what I was talking about, wasn't I? I was talking about what is what price. And off the top of my head right now, I don't remember. Oh, no. We're losing it. Nope, not that. We do that. It served us well. That's awesome. Let's use our axe. Apple and arrow. Oh, we got more. Ooh, I see arrows. There we go. I almost missed those. Acorns and arrows. Very nice, very nice. And now is there anything? I don't see anything. Just want to make sure there's no chests that I'm missing. We're still heading that way. We're going to go sort of to the left as we go. Because I think, if I remember correctly, I don't know. It's either a Korok or a treasure chest is over along that wall somewhere. Hyrule herbs. We'll take them. Thank you. I'm just glancing around to see... Why am I still hearing? It must be up top? I'm hearing a boku. I swear I'm hearing a bokoblin. Carrying on a conversation. Hmm. Don't know where he is. We cleared them out. Whoop. We just missed that, Hightail Lizard. <laughs> Nothing at the top of this. We got acorns and high roll herbs. We'll go ahead and grab those. Ooh, lots of high roll herbs. Take them, take them. And some more shrooms. So far I haven't seen... I thought there was a bombable wall with a chest or something over here. I guess I was mistaken. Which is possible, because there is so much to remember. I'm surprised I remembered the things that I have. Alright. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, wait. This is... Okay. This is the... The burnt grass. There's a Boku camp right up in the corner here. Hold on. Let's get the butterfly. Where is it? Yeah, there. Okay. Okay. Can I hit him from here? Probably not. And he can probably see me. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. Just in case. 
You gonna turn around a little, bud? Do me a favor. There, he didn't have a chance to alert them. Took more arrows than I should have needed, but that's okay. Now, if we're quiet, we can grab this treasure without alerting the others. Fire arrow times five. Very nice, very nice. And then what we can do is sneak around this side because they're all on the other side. There we go. And there they all are. Whoa. And this is not what I wanted to do. I don't know how in the world that worked the way it did. <laughs> I wanted to bomb them from the top and I slid right off the side. But, once again, huh, still accomplished the same goal. They're dead. We got some parts. And here we are. All right. What we are going to do, though, is sit by the fire real quick. I said sit by the fire until morning. Oh, my goodness. The crickle crackle of the fire. And there's that one spot that I know for sure. That is a... Up here. Is it better to climb this way? Yeah, because here we have some kind of like graduated steps. Because I think this is going to line us up with where I want to go. I forgot to mention it before. Before we go in the direction of Kakariko, I want to see... Is this where it's at? I want to see about hopping off. So off one of the sides, there's a fire here, which is a little... <gasps> oh, see, if we would have come up here. Yep, we could have done some Boko Bowling. Oh well. I forgot about that. Nope, no Magnesis. Yep. You? Grab some apples. Grab some wood. Ooh, three bundles of wood. Very nice. Ooh, I see. There's the Korok I was thinking of. Okay. We'll go grab that. Go ahead and grab that. Only got one on that one. Um, somewhere... I could have sworn this was like an area. A location? Something. Is it here, or do we have to walk? What did I miss? Oh! Okay, nothing. Sometimes they're Koroks, sometimes they're Rupees. Is it up here? It's supposed to trigger like a... You're looking out over Hyrule Kingdom or something. Huh. Huh. 
This isn't the way, though, that I wanted to jump down anyway. We gotta go around the other way. But we do have to go over and do... I almost forgot we had this. Let's go ahead and jump up here. sworn it was right over here somewhere and that's what the whole fire was about because they wanted you to come here they wanted you to see that you know you're here for the bacoblins anyway hmm that's all right we're gonna make our way around to that korok and Get that done. I'm just keeping an eye out, making sure we're not missing anything else. All right. We already got the treasure chest down there. And that's where we're heading out towards those double mountains, the dueling peaks. In a minute. Well, in a few minutes. How long have you been recording? Uh, about 30. So we have a little bit to go. There we go. Oh, like, let go. Thank you. This one is a semi-easy one. It's kind of train you on what you'll be seeing out there in the world. There we just go. Yep. Like that. Yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right. Now... Let me think. Is it out this way? That's the Colosseum that way, if I remember correctly. We need to go... Uh, from... Okay, we're gonna hop out here. I think there's a treasure chest out here somewhere. Then we're gonna make our way... Is it up there? On top of that thingamajiggers? Yes, it is. Alright. I don't know if we have enough stamina to get up there. But, do I have... Stamina meal. Oh, that might be enough. If we're... As long as we don't jump, we might be okay. We shall see. Maybe... Little. I'm gonna try to push it till. Okay. And now we'll eat this. And now we should be fine. There we go. Very cool. That was definitely worth it. Ten arrows. We'll take it. Now, from here, if we. Travel there. Jump slash. Perform a jump slash by pressing Y after jumping or while in the air. Shockwave created when you hit the ground can affect nearby monsters. I've never done that too much because I was always afraid I was going to end up doing more damage to my weapon than need be. Now, from here, okay, this is where we get, we have to kind of guesstimate. From here, let's climb up on the wall. 
up on the wall, I should be able to see the body of water that I'm looking for. Because remember how I told you I like to do sneaky sneaky? Well, there's something out here that will help me with the sneaky sneaky. And it should be, I believe it's there, if I remember correctly. So, we're going to try to head straight out there. We don't have the necessary weapons to fight most of these enemies that we're going to find down there. So we're going to try to make a beeline for out that way. I want to grab the treasure chest that's out there. It's a DLC treasure chest. That, like I said, makes the sneaky sneaky better. So if we get into a jam... Where we're coming up, there's Hyrule Kingdom. Hello. Oop, that's not gonna help. All right. If we get into the jam before we have stronger weapons or better armor or whatever, if we come up on a area that's particularly infested that we just wanna kinda get in and get out, we slip on. This isn't it, is it? Yeah, that's the EX. Okay. There we go. We slip on Majora's Mask. Ta-da! Thank you. And we'll be able to kind of get by without getting hurt. Oh yeah, we're going to start seeing weather now. Because now we're off the Great Plateau. It's like it protects you up there. You don't get the rain. You don't get the thunderstorms while you're up there. But now it says, you've learned enough. Welcome to the world. You are now going to deal with weather. Fun, fun. Rusty Claymore. Ooh, we'll take the Rusty Shield. Nope. Wait, I think it's the same as... Mm. Okay, we'll drop and we'll pick that up. That's still something. As long as it's not lightning out, it's okay. Uh, I believe there's a Korok somewhere here. I thought there was. I might be mistaken. Is it over here? Ah, there you are. Uh, we can use a bomb. Usually they want you to set it on fire, but we can do that too. There we go. Yeah, ha, ha. you found me. We have 12 already. See that? We're doing good. Is there another treasure in here? No. All right. Now, we don't want to play around down here too much, because like I said, the enemies in this area are a little unforgiving. Especially since we don't have many weapons. So we're going to head up here. Oop. Alrighty. Oh, here we go. This is going to take a minute. All of our DLC side quests are going to pop up. And it takes a minute for it to run through them all. Oh, see? <laughs> and we already completed one. Very cool. As soon as it's done, we'll go through and we'll read them real quick. Just so... Everybody's aware of what we're looking at. I forgot, once you step off, the first thing you do, it starts setting off this. If you've already bought the DLC, it starts setting off this 
lovely little string of events. There's quite a few of them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that should be the last of them. Yes. All right. Cool. All righty. Now, we are facing the wrong way. We're looking at the area we've been. We need to look at the area we're going. Yeah, I like that. All right. We are going to head... Oh, now it's raining on the Great Plateau. You see how it is? Now it's like, well, you've left, you've come back, now you're going to have crappy weather. I'm just looking ahead of time. Oh, see, now look at that. Isn't that pretty? I think the fact that they put stuff like that in here is just very cool. It's raining, the sun's still barely out, so therefore rainbow. That's just so cool. That's so pretty, right? Well, and the rain's gonna stop. And the rainbow fades. Wow. Okay. <sighs> just appreciating different parts of the game. Alrighty. We are gonna head... Well, first of all, that's where we're heading majorly next. To that tower, so we can get the map. Oh, looks like the rainbow's sorta back. Cool, though. Alright. We're gonna fly on down. Don't know how far we'll make it. We gotta keep an eye on our stamina. I don't think there's. No, there's no enemy up here. Okay. Ah. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought there was a chest up here. Cool. Fire arrow times five. We'll take it. Definitely take it. Oh, look at that poor boar. Being tormented by them. Jerks. Oh, well. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to make it over there, but you know what? I'm tempted. We'll go ahead and try. There we go. Very nice. See, we did that too. Isn't that nice? Alright. We'll take that. I don't know if a bomb will hit them from up here. Because it looks like there's hills. It might. Nope. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, you can yell all you want. Oops. Ha. Jerk. I saved you, Mr. Boar. I'll let you run away. You've been tortured enough. There we go. Okay. Well, we did our good deed for the day. And it's starting to get evening out. Oh, I heard him. It's a Mr. Fox. I don't bother the fox. The fox are nice. They don't attack me. Now the wolves, on the other hand, that's a different story. All right. Hello. Climb down and grab that. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. And we are heading... I heard him again. What's he doing? Just running around in circles. 
Oh, that's the treasure chest we got. Okay. Cool. We are heading. Camera angle. That away. <laughs> Look at all the rush rooms right there. Holy moly. You know what that piano always reminded me of? You know how you just heard that ding, 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 ding. If any of y'all are a child of the 80s, early 90s, uh, I think 80s is when it came out, right? Ghostbusters? Or was it early 90s? The original Ghostbusters. The original original. Um... With, what was it, Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man? He, uh... There's an opening scene where they're called out to go to a library. And as they're sneaking around down in the library... And they come up on... A full body spectral something or other. <laughs> that piano thing plays or is it Egon does it or something to that effect it says it drives them crazy ding 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 no it's Bill Murray's character I think that does it what's this Rusty Halberd can't carry anymore I hear the Moblin there he is I knew I heard him But he's got the big bat. I don't have a map yet. I'm looking like that's gonna help me. I'm trying to get an idea of where I'm at. By memory. Uh, yeah, because I'm not near the water yet. If he goes to sleep... We might be able to. We're gonna try it. There, there's another one around here somewhere. Moblin Fang. A sharp fang obtained from a moblin. It's too hard to be resha reshaped into a tool, but it can be tossed into a stew with some critters to create elixirs. A moblin horn. This splendid horn once grew atop the head of a moblin. It can't be used no can't be used in normal food recipes, but it does have some uses as an ingredient to make elixirs. Now we want to get rid of him and we're gonna go ahead and grab this guy a boko bat chunky club made of a cob made by a bokoblin not made of a bokoblin if you swing it at an enemy's shield it may be able to knock the shield out of your foe's hand all right now there's another one sleeping yeah that there it is Ding, 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 ding. That's what I was talking about. Where's he at? Okay. There's not another one around here, right? I'm trying to be very slow because we are... There we go. Awesome. Uh, but all he's got is a spear. Oh. That's another one with a bat. Alright. Let's be on our way. Now there's probably a bunch of things in here. We will clean up. Just like we're... We still gotta do some cleaning up up on the Great Plateau. And we'll be coming back through here to 
shrine hunt and such. Right now, what I'd really, really like to do is get to the tower as quickly as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. They both, they all have long things, which means peasant, wrong way. I got a couple of them. Got him. Oh, goodness. They all three had long things. If I would have let them get around me, I would have been dead. Oh, okay. A wooden mop. Just a mop to the untrained eye. It excels at tidying up the place. But it owes its sturdy construction to a true craftsman. So it actually has some combat merit. <laughs> Let's see. Where'd he go? See, on master mode, he would already been back at full health. Hey, dude. You only have one hit left. Thank you. A farming hoe. We might actually take that. A farming tool primarily used for tilling fields. Its fine craftsmanship is sturdy enough to withstand backbreaking field work, but its battle applications are untested. Um, uh, let's see. What do we got? <laughs> we'll get rid of... Even though it's durability up, it's still only a three. So we'll get rid of it. Yeah, see how it makes that special... You hear that? It's got that extra jingle to it. And if you look at the sparkles... It's got like an extra double sparkle. That's how you can tell in the field that a particular item has an extra something to it. Like that was a durability up. Some of them have long throw, attack up, certain things like that. And you can tell by listening to them. Okay, this is where we're heading. If we get over this bridge. See now like this. doesn't have a, main, a jingle and the little sparkle is just a little just enough to say hey there's something here look at me I got a sparkle Proxim Bridge this is one of the locations like I said I'll be keeping track of all these when I go through and editing I make a list and then I actually add them to the chapter markers and I'm also keeping a little journal of it that way we know once we get our percentage. Hey, buddy. Hi. Oh. This is Brigo. I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's badder than most. Oh. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? <laughs> well, doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here. I'm talking about those towers. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Uh. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here! With all that craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Uh... What thing? I'm talking about that Guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? That one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Hmm. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. This one here? No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. Mm -hmm. You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Ha, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. 
Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. I think he's the one. Is he the one that does it? I don't know. Because here's all the rocks, which means somewhere around here. There you go. Hey, don't be rash. <laughs> you won't change the world by jumping carelessly to your doom, don't you know? That would only do one thing, and that's... Drive me batty! Seriously, think of the shock I'd suffer seeing something like that. Ah. Now calm down and climb off that rail. And don't climb down that way. Climb down this way. <laughs> I thought that was neat that they put that in there. That's cool. I forget how I discovered that. I think I was just climbing up to look to see if I missed anything. See if there was anything down there, you know? And he pulls that. We're heading... Wait a minute. Did I actually run past that? I did, didn't I? I did. Oh, you boogers. I'm gonna chuck you in the water. Oh, look. There's a chest down there. No, 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 no. Yep. See ya. No, no, no. Don't even think about it. Nope. Get ready, Doc. Head back. I'm facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, goodness. And in you go. Very cool. Goodbye. Give me your pieces. Thank you. There should be some arrows from that dude shooting at me. There we go. Another one. Very nice, very nice. Alright. Oh. Okay. We're gonna make notes here. We got treasure chest there. We got a shrine here. We got a core rock over there. See, this is what I'm talking about. What I'm gonna do... Let's see. What time are we at? Eh, Bosch Kala Shrine. Alright, we'll go in, we'll do the shrine. This should be semi-easy. And then, like I said, I'm going to skip certain things now. Um, and then this is where we'll end the end episode. I wanted to end at the tower, but the trek to the tower, there's going to be a bunch of things that happen. It's going to take a little bit. So we'll end here, and then we'll pick up where we left off next episode after the shrine and make our way to the tower. Sounds like a plan, right? All right. Ah. To you who sets foot in this shrine, I am Bashkala. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. The wind guides you. There is a part of this particular shrine that I am very bad at. You would think it should be simple, right? It's teaching you this. Very nice. Amber. But, the problem is, is that for some reason, no matter how much I try, I always have a problem with the getting extra height. Okay. That wasn't too bad. This is the one. There is a treasure chest over there. And I always have a hard time with it. I forget where you're supposed to... Nope. Oh, say too soon. And I lost it. There is a way. And I always forget. I'll watch other people do it and they're like, oh, it's real simple, just like this. No, don't... <gasps> oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where am I? I'm here. Okay. 
We gotta go back up there. I am gonna get this chest, by golly. I don't even remember if it's worth it. But, I did say we're gonna do it all. Oh, there we go. And we got it. A soldier's claymore. Yes, we'll take that. Hold on. I gotta clean out my inventory. Hold on. This is a traveler's claymore. What else do we have that's not so... I don't want to have... Alright, I'll drop you. No! Let's try that again. Maybe if I throw you that way. Awesome. Thank you. We'll take this. Very cool. Head back over here. I always had I always got the timing on that wrong. I would always break right too soon and sink and fall. So oh. No! Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time to end this episode. Oh my goodness, I need to go grab some coffee or something. And I almost cut it too short that time. Get up here and get your spirit orb. That was funny. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. There we go. We got our spirit orb. And he refills our hearts. And may the goddess smile upon you. Thank you so much. Ladders. Climbing ladders will not deplete your stamina. However, using X to jump up a ladder will. All right. There we go. Any day now. All right. We got some ore over there. But this is where we're going to end it. Next episode, we will head over and get the tower unlocked, activated, whichever one you want to call it. That way we can get the map for this area. And it'll give us a little more idea of where we want to explore, where we want to look for things, grab some better weapons. Because until we get into some of these enemy camps, we're not going to get better weapons than what we have already. And then we'll make our way over to Impa. So we can get those quests started. And she's going to send us onward to get our Sheikah Slate repaired. And then we'll be set to then start kind of freely wandering where we want to go. I mean, that's a few episodes ahead, but just to lay out the plan for you. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We found a few more Koroks. We've opened another shrine. We finally left the plateau and did some exploring. We did accomplish one of our, which I never went over, see? Just reminded me. We did accomplish one of our new side quests that we got through the DLC. We got the Ancient Mask, which was Majora's Mask. The Ancient Mask lies at the ruins where soldiers gathered. From there, the waters of Lake Colomo are visible. And we found that. These are all the other ones. You got the ancient horse rumors. Rumor has it there's a bridle that contains, that enhances a horse's skill and saddle that can summon your horse right to you. Does this supposed ancient horse gear really exist? Highland Stable has a copy of Super Rumor Mill EX, which details some rumors about this rare horse gear. The Royal Guard rumors. We'll get more information at Riverside Stable about this, about Royal Guard uniform that can still be found at Highroad Castle. The Merchant Hood, Deya Village Ruins, has more information about this. The royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits. They were stolen by a bandit named Misko. And one of the items stolen was a traveling merchant's hood. Then we got the Garb of the Winds. 
A uh, royal family of Hyrule collected historically significant outfits. One of the items stolen was the blue garb of the Hero of the Winds. Somewhere in Deya Village Ruins is their journal that tells you where it's at. Deya Village Ruins again for the Usurper King. It's another Misko treasure. The Dark Armor, again, Deya Village. Another one stolen by Misko. Uh, it belonged to a dark entity. Strange Mask Rumors, Woodland Stable has information about that. And it tells you about a mask that can alert the wearer when a Korok is hiding nearby. Sounds useful. That'll help us later on when we're doing our Korok Roundup. Teleportation Rumors. That is something that we wouldn't mind having sooner rather than later. That's South Akala Stable. And we'll have information about that. I'm sorry. And there's a tool that allows you to instantly travel wherever you've placed it. Fairy clothes. Outpost ruins will give us more information on that. Oops, did not mean to skip. They were stolen by the Misko Bandit. Uh, let's see. Twilight Relic. Same thing, I believe. It's another Misko treasure. Outpost ruins has more info. Phantasma. Outpost ruins has more info. And Xenoblade Chronicles 2 collaboration. And this is a little riddle. There are three pieces, and you have to go to three different areas throughout the map and look to the sky at night and find the red shooting stars. Southern sky from the middle of the largest bridge, eastern sky from the skull's left eye, and southeastern sky from the peak of the tall pierced snowy mountain. I'm sorry, it was blending in. Those we can't do anytime soon because we need more of the map opened up so we can find the areas that we're talking about. Plus, it's going to take some serious traveling all over the place. But we will get to them. Like I said, everything will get done. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you'll hang out and join me for the next one. We'll get this area unlocked. We'll head for our main quest location. And I hope to see you there. Until I see you again, I hope you have a good one. Bye.